Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Boss Constructor series. I'm hoping that this, well, this might be the last episode, one way or another. This is going to be the last episode, because apparently they have, in, maybe they've been watching my series going, and listening to me going, oh, it's, wow, that was too easy, wow, that was too easy. Well, apparently they've increased not only the AI aggressiveness, they've improved the AI and made the bad guys tougher. So I have a feeling I'm going to get my butt kicked today. <laughs> And if I don't, we're only two sectors away from finishing the game. So, um, with that in mind, I am going to start building my craft, but I'm going to be building it really closely paying attention to what I'm doing this time because I've made some pretty serious mistakes. And to be honest with you, if I had made those mistakes in a situation where the AI was sort of top notch, um, I might be in trouble. And so I really have to be careful here because, uh, <laughs> if, 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 if they have improved the AI, like they've said they've improved it, um, I, I could be, you know, I could get my butt kicked here pretty easily. Um, like, I, if you remember on the last episode, I had placed this sh wonderful shield in the front, in front of my front firing guns, and then, and then I placed it in the back, um, in, uh, in front of my missiles. So, you know, I mean, I was running with half weapons in both scenarios. And uh, quite honestly, if they had come at me really, really hard, I would have been dead. Um, but uh, we were able to get away with, you know, flying like, like an imbecile. <laughs> uh, oh, well, that's interesting. So, um, also, he's released a brand new patch um, that has apparently... It's, a big, it's the biggest patch he's released yet. And there's so many different things that he's improved. Um, there's evolutionarily gener generated enemies. Um, there's uh, it, now at higher difficulty levels, if a module gets shot off, um, there's a chance that you may not be able to pick it up again. So you can lose things permanently now, which is kind of scary. Um, uh, the enemies are more aggressive at close range. I talked a little bit about that already. There's intelligent color selection. So this is another one that I'm really interested in. So if I pick up this thruster rocket and bring it in, it'll change it. It was pink and it just changed to yellow because the rest of my thruster rockets is yellow. Well done. I really like that. That'll save me having to figure out which color things are. And it looks like they've he's there's been some changes as just in general to how things look. The command centers look different again. Um, apparently... Oh, can I not use that energy absorber on the inside now? Oh no, I guess it doesn't matter. It's got an X on it. That's that's all. It's got an X on it. What does that mean? Oh, so maybe maybe it can't be inside the ship. I don't know. Ah, so hard to tell when it's when it's like that. Okay, no, I think it can still be in the center of the ship. So we're gonna we're gonna keep that. We're gonna remember to use our carrier this time because last time we totally forgot to use it. Um, the repair module, oh, see, that doesn't fit very well there, does it? Oh, I guess we could put that forward one. See, and now our resonance cannons are kind of sticky outy. We do have some new armor. Hmm, how can... So we have the robust titan armor. Um, I'd like that to be the red. See, it automatically, see, watch. It's pink, I bring it in, and now it's red. Pretty cool. And it also has an X on it now if it's not... Um, if it's not in a correct position. So I really like that too as well. So the robust armor, hmm. We can't put it in front of the resonance cannons. We can't put it in front of the carrier. Can't put it in front of the propulsion or the fireball gun. Um, but we can... This is a good place for the Titan armor, and I like I like the pointy ones up front. Uh, that looks really good. What else do we got have here? Oh, fragile Titan armor. Uh, well... We're probably not going to be able to use that. Um, we're going to keep the ultralight shield array facing backwards. That will protect our ore container. Um, extra solar panel. No, I don't think we'll need that. The subspace drive. No, I don't think we'll need that. Uh, these thrusters, I think, can come in on the inside like so. These are just uh, efficient thruster and thruster rocket. Okay, so we don't need the third one. Yeah, and then the... Uh, shield array will come out like so in kind of an arc like this and our missile should be able to shoot around it now I'm hoping <laughs> like I said we could get our butt kicked here because you know um, he's made some pretty they've made some pretty serious changes to uh, kick my butt and I don't know if they did that because I kept laughing at them. <laughs> he, he might have anyway so it was pretty funny how he said it in in uh, in the patch notes patch notes it really did sound like he was talking to me he's like you asked for it <laughs> that's fine 
That's fine. I accept your challenge. And yeah, I'll probably die. But that's okay. Oh, light command center. Uh, we can replace one of these command centers. I guess it doesn't matter which one. Question. So we've got two dark purple ones and we've got two pink ones. What color is this going to be when we bring it in? It's went pink. Okay. So, hmm. That will save us time. If I want to change those colors. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. Light is there. Okay, good. Uh, perfect. Actually, we'll put both the lights on the inside. It's not going to matter. Just uh, makes me feel better that the light one's on the inside. I don't know. Because if one of these other ones gets shot off, there is a chance that we may not be able to get it back. Okay, so it's not the most attractive ship, but we still have the Alpha Strike up front, and we still have the missiles in behind. We have the uh, lasers on the side. Oh, one of them's just a weak laser. Oh, well. Okay. Um, but uh, we should be good to go. Um, we've got some extra armor now. I suppose we could put that in behind. No, I like it in the front, because in the front I can kind of do a turn and maybe bash them a little bit. I'm not too worried about losing these solar panels. I just don't want to lose my propulsion rockets. Oh, right. Okay, that was off a bit. It wasn't quite balanced. There we go. That's better. Missiles right on the outside. Should be good to go. Good to go. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, return to the galaxy map and hit F8 and do what we do best and be a peach. And away we go. Second to last fight. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, we've got to remember to use our carrier this time. Alright. We are testing the developer's work to see... Oh, apparently they're... Oh, yes, another neat thing in the in this patch is that they've apparently done a whole bunch of fixes for the cameras. Because, uh, like I was saying in the last episode, there was issues with the cameras uh, being a little wonky sometimes and not doing what they're supposed to do. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, yeah, it was, it was happening when uh, when I started switching the cameras, actually, that's when I started running into problems. See, those that shield is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. I can fire at him. Oh. <laughs> uh, looks like you got stuck there, dude. I think you need to fire your, your navigator. Yeah, the, uh, his missiles are either... Oh, oh, no, turn! Ah, oh, crap. I forgot to... Oh, shoot! There's a mine there! Ah! Turn! Ah! Oh! Hit him, too! Oh! Hit me twice! <laughs> Gotta remember to keep firing. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of doing the spathy thing. We are hitting him with the butt missiles. Oh, very nice. Very nice! Awesome! Oh, yeah, we're in, we're in the juicy parts now. It looks like they are definitely more aggressive, and I, I appreciate that. I... But one of the things I'd also like to see, um, at least for the different factions of ships, they should all have different tactics and maybe a slightly different... Ooh, did I just lose a missile? No, I lost a... Shoot, I'm not even sure what I lost there. Oh, it was a, it was a propulsion. Ooh, that's not good. Um, so in Star Control 2, and I'm not saying this game needs to be Star Control 2, it isn't Star Control 2, and I like that it's not Star Control 2, otherwise I'd go play Star Control 2. However, one of the things that they did do in Star Control 2 that I think is pretty cool, and maybe consider, is that uh, the different factions, or the different types of ships, not only did they have different weapons, but they also had different tactics. So, you know, a Spathy would always try to run from his enemies. Uh, they were chickens. That's what they did. So, not only did they have missiles that shot out from the back... Oh! Damn! Ah! Oh, ram, 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 ram. Okay, so, what I, my point is that... It shouldn't, it shouldn't be just the weapons that define how they attack. Nor should it be just one particular... One type of AI. It should be... Uh, AI is based on their personalities, too. And even in Starfleet battles, you know, that, that tended to happen depending on the race. Oh, man. Oh, ramming is that last... That last recourse. Like, when you've run out of options, just ram them, right? Oh, man, that hurt. Um, but you see, we lost that outside solar panel. Oh, no. We lost... Oh, oh no. We lost one of our... Our rear firing thrusters and that's the only way we can turn now is to stop 
Oh no, that's not good at all. Oh boy. Uh, that's not good. Okay, well we're gonna do the best we can here. <laughs> it was a brilliant move. I honestly, if if you're losing in the way that they're losing, the best thing to do is to ram. You know, rather than uh, rather than go quietly. Okay, well we can f still fly backwards pretty quick. And that that's okay, but we cannot turn one direction without stopping. <laughs> that's a tailspin. Yeah, but we can still we still have a little bit of acceleration with our propulsion going backwards. Oh no, no! Oh, he's gonna try and ram again. Okay, I gotta admit, you know, the AI is definitely more aggressive. I do like that. Okay, so we are, uh... Okay. One more bad guy over here. Yeah, it's rough. We're, we're really slow now. Honestly, we need to lose... <laughs> we need to lose some weight! Uh, you know, maybe even lose a couple more pieces here so that... Ooh, we all... How come our ore is at zero? Did we lose all our ore? <gasps> How did we lose all it? No, oh, maybe we spent it all. I think we spent it all on the carrier. Speaking of, son of a... <laughs> Damn it, I almost did it again. See, the AI is better, so I, you know, I gotta, gotta use my head a little bit. Okay. Now, will these guys automatically attack? I assume they will. Oh! <gasps> you can shoot your own... Interceptors, but they heal. Okay, and then they do little bombing runs. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, ouch. Well, they shoot at me, too. That's not good. Stop shooting at me. Oh, I guess I gotta keep keep at range or something? Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like that. Okay, now can I bring him back in? Awesome. So I don't know what the disadvantage to those are, because they just keep replenishing. Those are pretty good. Pretty OP. But I did pay a lot for it. Okay, uh, yeah, we got to travel backwards. The little thrusters, honestly, I, I don't know if they're really any good. They do help with speed, but... They, on their own, they're not that useful. But I don't think they were intended to be that useful on their own. Anyway, so there's a few things to pick up, and there's a store, and then we can get out of here. Mind you, we don't have any ore. Oh, another thing. One of, one of you guys, uh, somebody had mentioned in the comments that uh, there was an asteroid that I had passed by that that was sparkling. And uh, I, didn't, I hadn't noticed it at the time. Oh, good. I hadn't noticed it at the time. Um, but I think that was maybe an asteroid I could have collected uh, ore from. I think I, well, that was something that I could have destroyed. Uh, bulky propulsion rocket battery. Okay, well, that's all right. I think we have a battery on here. Uh, well, let's just see what's in the shop while we're here. And then and then after that, I think we'll fast forward it just so that uh, we can go collect stuff and you guys don't have to sit and wait. <laughs> uh, okay. Ultralight shield array. I don't think we need another one of those. I, I think we're good there. They're good, but uh, you, we've seen the disadvantage of these already. Uh, oh, wait. That's mine. Ugh, I'm an idiot. I must have picked another one up then. Or, or it's or it got shot off. I think it got shot off. That's right. Okay, what else? Oh, efficient micro solar panel. Holy, that's expensive. And it generates more power than a regular solar panel. So regular solar panel is three gigawatts. Wow, three hundred and twenty. Wow. Okay, decent mine layer. Yeah, none of this we can... Uh, targeting, target a laser! That's another thing that's new in this version. Uh, patch 14, 15. I don't know, I can't keep track. I think I lost track at like three. Awesome! Um, yeah, I don't know what it does. Uh, targeting laser projects a straight line ahead useful for aiming weapons. Yeah, I've seen stuff like that in, in games similar to this. So I think that would be really helpful. Um, we could get rid of... Uh, no, I'm not going to get rid of anything right now. A rotating joint. Yeah, we, we don't know what that does yet. There's all sorts of stuff here. We can't... We can't... Oh, blinking light. Uh, the bulky energy chain. A chain made of materialized energy. Two or more energy chain modules can be used to connect different ship parts. Kind of like the rotating joint. So, uh, 
I don't know if anybody here has played Starfleet Battles, but there was uh, units in Starfleet Battles, not not the video game, the board game, where you can have tenders. And it, yeah, they need to fix this because it should give you time to get off of the platform before it tries to go back into the store. Okay, uh, but yeah, you could have tenders and you had these little things that would hold the tenders. And tenders were just like... Like, like either a turret or a, a storage container, and you used like a tractor beam to hold onto them. So I'm thinking that's probably something like that. Oh wow, there's a whole ship here that we haven't... Oh wow, okay, so I... This guy, is he stuck or...? He has no propulsion. Where's his propulsion? He has no propulsion. Those look like the, the new solar panels though. Okay, I think we can just... Oh, well, we could Alpha Strike him. Let's Alpha Strike him. <laughs> we didn't use that gun at all. This game. Ooh. Oh, wow! That causes me to... It causes me to move the guns. That's new. It actually blows me back. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. So that's another way to kind of save yourself if you're stuck and you're, you're out of propulsion. Use your guns to move around. Yeah, I'm actually gaining speed. Is that ever cool? Uh-oh. 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 Ah. Uh. No, 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 no. Back. No, what's going on? Ah! There we go. I was hitting the wrong button again. I do that a lot, actually. It's pretty funny. It's kind of sad, actually. Okay, uh... That little missile launcher has got to go. Aim for the missile launcher! Ah, uh, I know you're trying to, uh... Dude... Aim for the missile launcher. Okay, the only way to do this is like this. <laughs> Take that! Ow, that's gotta hurt. So, yeah, that, not a great design. And so that must be an evolutionarily generated ship. So what that means, I think, is that the the game boss constructor is actually generating these ships based on their the sub mini game within the game here called evolve and creating these ships that have succeeded in uh, in the evolve process and I, I know I haven't talked a lot about the evolve evolve part of this game but there's an actual whole little mini game within the game here where you can actually evolve ships and it's it's really interesting. It reminds me of high school biology, and um, uh, the creator of Boss Constructor actually has uh, a background in uh, genetics or something, evolution. Uh, it's really interesting, really, really interesting. And one day, uh, as I promised in in the comments below, one day I will do a uh, little presentation on it. Um, but it's it's really, really interesting. But anyway, I think that ship was one that was evolutionarily gen. It's a tongue twister. Evolutionarily uh, generated based on the evolution system within the game. There, that's better. <laughs> okay, fast forward. You'll notice, actually, I'm actually veering to the left and when I push in a straight line because I actually have more weight on one side than another. And the propulsion system doesn't compensate for that. Um, and Nor should it, and I don't think it should in the game. I, I think it's, it's something that you need to consider when you're building and why you would normally build something that's symmetrical. Just a, a note. And I, for, those of, for those boss constructor people out there who are thinking about buying the game or have the game, Something to consider when you're building your ships. Probably better to start your ships symmetrical. Unless there's a specific reason why you wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is going to be our last fight. So here we go. Let's do our refit here. And uh, we're just going to... I wish we had, We should have bought more propulsion. Okay, hold on. We do have... Let's uh, use the, the filters here. And let's go to propulsion, propulsion rocket, so all 
regular propulsion rockets, but we can add more this time, which is great. The shield worked great for a while until they rammed us. Yeah, that wasn't good. Okay, so I wonder if we could put Titan armor in front of the shield. That's something to consider. We'll, we'll worry about that in a second. First off, let's get our engines. Maybe we're going to add another rear engine. I think that's a really good idea. And where's that shield? Oh, no. Uh, oh, or container. Oh, we lost our ore container. <gasps> yeah, we wouldn't have been able to buy anything anyway. We didn't have any way to carry ore. Oh, that sucks. Well, I, I don't think we had any, so it's all good. Let's take the... We did win a new repair bot, which is great. We will take that for sure. Um, can't have enough of those. Uh, more armor. Okay, so let's... Okay, so let's turn this around. Put it back where it was, because that was a great position. The missiles were able to fire, and this thing was able to protect the ore container. However, can we put something in front of it? Will it continue to operate? If it does, it's kind of a kind of a cheat almost. <laughs> yeah. So if that thing still works. See, I would think that well, I mean. I don't know, maybe the shield would work through the armor. I don't know. I like it though. I like that idea. Fantastic. I wonder if I can put other things in front of it. Like a thruster. We still have that extra thruster. Uh, that's more of an experiment. If it gets shot off, big deal. Mind you, this might not work at all. I'm not going to risk it because this is the very last battle. Um, we will put the Titan armor on though. And I think we're actually going to do it like this because they're a I'm, I've noticed they're always aiming for the command centers so if I do it like this even if this gets shot off they'll have to go through the Titan armor at least partially there'll be one block protecting the command center still so that's like an extra layer of protection and I'm not risking the ultralight shield generator not working it might work like that but I, I'd rather not risk it because it's it was so good and we do most of our fighting fire uh, flying backwards so <laughs> Great. Uh, is that just a regular solar panel? And well, yeah, okay, regular solar panel. And uh, uh, did we, we? Oh, we must have lost another piece of. Oh, reinforced Titan armor. Okay, so that one can go there. That's Titan. That's fragile, and fragile. That's fine. The fragile. That's fine. Fragile can go there. Reinforced. Uh, no, we'll put the reinforced. I'm going to put the reinforced in behind because that's where we need it. And the fragile can go on the side. Okay, I, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Is there any more weapons or guns that we got? Bulky fireball, weak fireball, missile launcher. Uh, really don't have any room to add any more guns in front. We could add some extra fireballs on the side. Actually, that's not a bad idea. It's not like... It's not going to hurt anything having an extra fireball there. Bulky. Uh, it does slow us down, but we do have an extra set of thrusters in the back. Oh no, same amount of thrusters in the back. We always had two sets, I think. Pretty sure. I thought we just added extra, but maybe not. Okay, so we'll do that. That we've got, we've got a little bit more for side-firing weapons. Do we want to do that? See what else we got here uh, before I make that final decision. Missile launcher, weak fireball, battery. Uh, we've already got a battery, and I don't think we need more. Uh, our power is actually fantastic. We've great power. Uh, so that's it. We really don't have any other options anyway. Uh, do we want this innie or outy? I think innie is fine. Now we'll kind of keep those separated. Um, as far as style goes, uh, the ship's very compact. Um, which can be bad, but I think for the most part that's a wise decision. It's really well protected all the way around. Um, I'm basically using these solar panels as armor, uh, which seems to be working great. Uh, they have 40 hit points, which is uh, not not nearly as much as the... It's a, it's a third of the hit points as the Titan armor, but it covers a wider area. So, I don't know. Kind of a nice compromise. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's go finish this. dun dun dun, -dun! Cue the music. This is it. 
So this is the final sector. So we've got some goodies here. I don't know. Maybe we move on to a new map after this. I don't know. We're about to find out. Music has changed. Here we go. Oh, looks like we've got at least two, two guys on the radar. Three. Maybe three guys. Okay. Uh, let's go take on this guy first. I think the camera should zoom out about this point. As soon as you get this close to an enemy, it should zoom out so you can see what's going on. It's Alpha Strike him. Oh, you gotta hit him first. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, you're 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 pretty done, I think. Just gotta take out that command center. Awesome. Two command centers. And then we're going to launch the fighters and we're going to go take out the other guy. So I think there's two more guys. Ooh. I'll take out that stupid thing now. The mine, because it'll come back to haunt me. <laughs> I don't know if I hit it or not. I don't think I did. Okay, so let's go take out the guy up top. Looks like there's a place to buy stuff here, so maybe it does go on. Maybe the game continues on, or I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it goes to a different map. If it does, that's kind of cool, too. All right. All right, let's turn around. Oh, launch our fighters, actually. Now, remember, you can shoot your own fighters, so they're... Why is he not moving? He's not doing anything. Huh. Huh, it's fun to watch, but... I'm trying not to shoot my fighters, but... If they get in the way, they get in the way. Uh, it's not like this guy's a huge threat, and I think my fighters just regenerate anyway. <laughs> so the fighters would be really good if he didn't have any front-firing weapons. He could do like three or four of the carriers. Oh man, that would just be brutal. Otherwise, it's it's like an extra shot. If you're if you're continually firing with front firing weapons, it's just you kill them all the time. I wonder if it just continue. I probably use. Oh, it's using up all my energy. That's what it's doing. It uses up energy to launch the fighters. That's why. And we're sucking energy with the energy absorber. That's what's that that pink that purple line is the energy absorber, sucking up all the energy. Um. Yeah, just the one command center. Oh, he's got a carrier on him, too. He never used it. It looks like he put armor in front of it or something. That Yeah, these are... It's using the evolution system in the game to generate the enemies. Unfortunately, the evolutionary system has a flaw, it appears. We just got a cargo container. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, the, uh, the evolution system seems to be putting armor in front of weapon modules and stuff, so it can't fire. That's really unfortunate. So th um, this battle is actually becoming easier than the battles before. It's actually the, it's, and I don't think it's a flaw with the, well, it might be a flaw with the AI too, because he didn't move at all. Oh, it's too bad, it's too bad. I know it'll get fixed, but I was looking forward to a really intense battle. It's okay. It's okay. Well, at least we get to see the end. Whatever that may entail. Oh, oh, he's moving. Okay, so that's good. That's good. He moved really fast, too. He might have a... One of those uh, little warp stabilizer things. Okay. Uh, is he done moving? Oh, don't hit the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a shame! Oh, that's a shame. No fight, eh? Alright. Well, let's just kill him then. Let's pull in our fighters, because they just it'll use up too much energy to uh, keep regenerating them. We can just keep pelting them with our alpha, alpha strike here. Well, I guess, I guess that's that. We'll go collect all the stuff, and then see what happens. Maybe, maybe the game continues on. 
Uh, maybe, I mean, this is the normal difficulty level. And uh, for those of you out there that know me, you know that I usually pick hard for most games just because I like the challenge and I like to be <laughs> against all odds. But, uh, you know, I picked normal on this one because I didn't know the game at all. But next time, I think we are definitely going with a higher difficulty level. Um, but I don't think the difficulty level has anything to do with what just happened. I think there's maybe a bug here that's causing it so that the ships don't fight back and or it's not evolving the ships properly so that they have weapons in the right spot or the weapons are behind other modules. And that's really unfortunate because this should be a, this should be the big fight. But it's not it. I know it'll get fixed. I know it'll get fixed. I love the game still. I, I know it's going to get fixed. So... Uh, we're just going to leave the sector. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, careful. Oh, don't do that. Rob, why'd you do that? Oh, don't do that. It's the only thing that fired at me in the... Oh, hey! I didn't know that. Killing the mines gives you goodies. I didn't know that. Okay, well, then there's a reason for me to kill the mine. Uh, fireball. I mean, nothing special. I also got to be watching for those sparkly asteroids. Because apparently asteroids maybe carry stuff. That's kind of cool. Um, we took basically no damage. The only damage we took was self-inflicted. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's see. Let's see how the game ends here. You have won. Time required. 33 minutes and 39 seconds. Oh, for this session. But over all the sessions, it's more like uh, two hours or so. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh... Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the series. We are going to be doing another Boss Constructor uh, series as time goes on here. Uh, once some of these things are fixed, I'm going to be touching base with... Like, I'm going to be going into the game and playing it a little bit on my own as they do the patches to be sure that things are working properly. I do like the game. I'm really looking forward to a more complete version and especially, like, the story mode and other parts of the game that are promised. And we are going to be doing... Uh, at least one episode just on the evolution, the, the evolution mini game that's in the game. So this here, uh, just because it's, I don't know if it's a mini game, but it's, it is very, very cool. So now we can actually take this ship and evolve it, make it fight computer generated bad guys that look like itself. And then it evolves and it's really kind of cool, but we will do another full episode on that. I'm not prepared to do an episode on that today, um, but otherwise I really enjoyed my first exploration set of missions um it's unfortunate the last one was kind of i don't know weak the ai was kind of weak and I, I don't know the ships weren't built all that well but i know it will get fixed and we are going to do another whole game either exploration or story mode whatever gets released anyways i hope you've enjoyed this thanks a lot guys we'll see you next time